Kapilogan city is the capital of the area of Samar or Western Samar. It is 100 kilometers from Tacloban city, the territorial focus of Eastern Visayas. Kapilogan is known for its fishing industry that is the reason it is commending a month-long merriment called Manaragat celebration during the period of August. Manaragat implies anglers in English. The 24th of August is the city's celebration to pay tribute to Saint Bartholomew, the benefactor holy person of Kapiloganans. I got the opportunity to investigate this great capital city of Samar and chose to compose an article about it. Regardless of whether you're a cat Bologanon or a vacationer who needs to investigate this wonderful city, here are 12 activities 1. Visit Kapilogan City Lobby and see this one-of-a-kind landmark of Rizal. Rizal Landmark of Kapilogan City. The landmark of Dr. Jose Rizal situated at the Recreation Center before Kapilogan City Corridor is likely the most interesting Rizal landmark on the planet. This landmark, speaking to a bust of Rizal on the highest point of his two books, Noli Mitangere and El Filibusterismo, conveyed by three solid men who are generally stripped aside from a leaf that covers their frontal private parts, was formed by Miguel Alcazar, a local of Capilogan. 2. Take pictures of Samar Common Capital, Samar Commonplace Legislative Hall. Visiting Capilogan City is visiting the capital of the area of Samar. In this way, remember to set your foot before the Samar Common State House building. An image with this glorious and neo-traditional structure would most likely probably the best keepsake you can have when you visit Kapilogan. 3. Hang out at Imelda Stop and recollect the set of experiences behind the monolith. The monolith is situated at the Recreation Center before the State House building. The pillar portrays the four significant occasions in Samar's set of experiences, the 1901 Balanjiga experience during the Philippine-American War 1899-1902, the 1649 Sumeroy resistance drove by Juan Sumeroy in Palapag against the Spaniards, the appearance of the primary Jesuit preachers to Samar on October 15, 1596, and the August 11, 1841 revelation of Samar as a free area by Sovereign Isabella II of Spain. Amelda Park in Kapilogan City. Amelda Park is one of Kapilogan's number one spots to spend time with companions, families, and children. A few major trees make the recreation center an extraordinary spot to play, run, or simply unwind and breath some natural air. 4. Honor the benefactor holy person of Kapilogan at St. Bartholomew Church. The congregation of St. Bartholomew was initially underlying 1616. Be that as it may, its current structure was framed when Father Felix Carrion, OFM set out to fix the congregation in 1814, over 50 years after it was first singed in 1760. The special raised areas of the congregation were built by Father Martin de Yepes. The congregation was singed for a second time in 1835 however was modified by the Franciscans. The old picture of the supporter holy person, Saint Bartholomew, is by and by kept in the parsonage. The congregation is situated at San Bartolome Road in Kapilogan City. 5. Honor the survivors of the MV Doña Paz misfortune at the Pieta Park. The Pieta Park is found contiguous Saint Bartholomew Church. The recreation center has a sculpture of the Pieta, a sculpture that portrays the collection of Jesus on the lap of his mom Mary after the tortoise killing. It fills in as a remembrance to respect Kapiloganans and 4,000 or more other who died in the heartbreaking impact of MV Doña Paz and the oil big hauler Mount Vector on December 20, 1987. 6. Unwind at Rosario Slopes Mountain View Park Resort. Situated at Burji. New Mahayag in Kapilogan City, the hotel is an extraordinary spot to go in the event that you have children with you. The spot offers separate pools for grown-ups and youngsters. They additionally have a youngster's jungle gym, which incorporates youngster rides, swings, seesaws, monkey bar and slides. This is an ideal decision in the event that you like to see a rice field, climb green slopes, and unwind in a mountainside resort. Visit their Facebook page to find out additional. 7. Appreciate swimming and the food at Juvie's Retreat and Eatery. In the event that you favor an oceanside hotel and feel the breeze of Makeda Sound, at that point you may adore Juvie's Retreat and Cafe at Burji. San Roque Burry Island. 
The retreat offers a cafe worked at the seashore and a pool sitting above Makeda Sound. Juvie's Hotel likewise offers different facilities going from local Kinds Estates and Nipa Hubble cabins on the off chance that you like to remain for the time being or significantly more. Visit their Facebook page to find out additional. 8. Relax at M Great Royale Resort. M Great Royale Resort is perhaps the best spot that I visited in Capilogan City. Situated inside Leader Statures in Burji. Gwinsarangan, the retreat is arranged on a peak. It has a vastness pool and a cafe sitting above Makeda Strait. This spot will give you an exquisite perspective on Capilogan City's dusk. It is genuinely an extreme traveler objective in the city, and it's only a couple minute ride from Capilogan downtown territory. To find out additional, visit their Facebook page. 9. Experience once in a blue moon experience at Focal Cavern. Focal Cavern Capilogan. Cavern Ace Joni Abessimus Bonifacio inside the Focal Collapse Capilogan, Samar. Photograph by Joni Abessimus Bonifacio. Within excess of 100 gives in that have been authoritatively ordered and in excess of 1,000 surrenders still to be investigated, Samar Island presented to be the folding capital of the Philippines. Situated at Barangay Kauayan, the Focal Cavern is one of the fabulous collapses Samar. Getting inside the Focal Cavern will offer guests and experienced darlings the chance to see the staggering stalagmites, tapered rocks and other characteristic developments inside the cavern. For an extraordinary and safe surrendering experience, you can arrive at Cavern Ace Joni Abessimus Bonifacio of Trexplore. 10. Watch the Vivid Manaragat Celebration March. The Manaragat Celebration is an August-month-long festival to respect Saint Bartholomew, the city's benefactor holy person who is accepted to protect the wealth of Makeda Strait and its marine lives for the individuals of Kapilogan and Samar. The feature of the party is the Manaragat March held a day prior to the holiday. The motorcade is joined by different clans from Kapilogan and close-by towns. The entertainers wear beautiful ensembles and dance many-sided developments that impersonate the fishes and other marine animals of Makeda Narrows. 11. Shop at Kapilogan Public Market and Centro Shopping Center. Experience the standard existence of a Kapiloganon by purchasing something to cook from the market. Your stay in Kapilogan would not be finished without going to the Kapilogan Public Market. In the event that you need to search for clothes, the Centro Shopping Center, the city's greatest retail establishment, is simply situated close to the public market. 12. Purchase dried fish, dried squid and rock shellfish for Pasalubong. Dried fish, dried squid and sisi in Kapilogan. You can likewise purchase those items at the public market or even at the terminal yet to the extent I remember, during my youth days, we purchased dried fish, dried squid and sisi, rock shellfish contained in jugs at Burji. Ubanon. As Kapilogan is celebrated for its fishing industry, those marine items could be your best pasalubong for your companions and friends and family. Simply investigate these newly cooked dried fish and dried squid. Looks yummy, right? There are even additionally fascinating spots to visit and exercises to do in Kapilogan City beside the 12 that I've recorded previously. It is safe to say that you are a Kapiloganon? Have you been to the city recently? What other traveler objections would you be able to prescribe to us? Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.